everyone, Dr. Remy from Pain Free and Fit. Today, for those of you with cervical degenerative disc disease, herniated discs, and bulging discs in your lower neck, we're going to be talking about ideal sleep positions and how to customize a sleep position for your unique pain so that you get a good night's sleep and you wake up with less pain in the morning. Hope you enjoy. Using a cervical support pillow like I have here that supports the normal arch of my neck is great for people with degenerative or herniated discs that have problems during the day with forward head posture. People that work on computers, read, look at their phones, and their head is constantly in a state of flexion often feel much better when they have a support underneath the arch of their neck so the normal lordosis or arch is supported and it decreases the stresses on the facet joints, the ligaments, the tendons, the muscles in the neck, as well as the discs, by supporting normal alignment. However, many people that have disc problems, when you have a support in the back of the neck, it's actually going to aggravate those because this increased curve can compress the back portion of the disc, which many times, due to herniation and bulging, becomes aggravated. So in these people, as well as those sometimes with stenosis, where the back of the spine is compressed and the holes where the nerve is coming through in lateral IVF stenosis is irritated, moving the pillow upward so it's under the skull actually creates a little flexion and that will feel better. It's going to decrease the arch in the neck slightly and open up the back portion of the spine. So you have to determine what feels the most comfortable. Rarely will people need a huge support where their neck is up like this. This is where it's severe stenosis or severe disc herniation and many times, although it performs a relief function, during the morning when you wake up, there's a lot of stiffness because the back of the muscles are being pulled too greatly. So it's better to have a more neutral position where you have a just slight tilt of the skull and the neck by moving the pillow upwards if you have stenosis or pain with extension looking back. Those of us who have a posterior lateral disc herniation, which is very common where the disc moves backwards and to the side, will often find relief by lying on their side. With side lying, especially with the side that is painful down, it allows the neck to bend from a neutral or straight position into a slight lateral flexion where you're actually leaning towards the side of pain. Now you have to be careful with this because if the shoulder blade is hunched up into the ear too much, it'll many times pinch that disc herniation or bulge and create more pain. But if you move your shoulder blade down towards your hip and then position yourself so the head can actually fall slightly in towards the bed, it will afford a slight compression on that side, which over time helps to push the disc nucleus, the inner portion of the disc or the gel that's pushed to the side, back towards the center. That's called centralization of disc nuclear material. And as long as the height of the pillow is comfortable, a slight tilt in can be very beneficial. After a good night's sleep, many times you wake up, the neck will be feeling better because this is a position of relief. Those who have an opposite problem, where for instance, the facet joint is being pinched, where you have facet imbrication, the inside line of the facet joint associated with cervical degenerative disc disease is irritated, would do better from having a higher pillow set up so that the head is now tilting away from the downside pain problem. This helps to create an opening on the side, again, keeping the shoulder blade down towards your hip, and that oftentimes relieves. It takes the invaginated or pinched lining of the synovium of the joint that's become trapped in the facet joint and allows it to drop down and back a little bit. And many times after a good night's sleep, this is gonna feel better. It's also important to relax the neck muscles. Many people with cervical degenerative disc disease, herniated discs, have excessive muscle tension. So keeping the shoulders away from being up and shrugged, but down in a neutral position, and shoulder blades back so they're not rounded will many times help to ease pain associated with myofasciitis or trigger points or spasm in the neck. Ideally, all of these positions should feel comfortable, whichever position you ultimately choose, and over time should lead you to eventually lying in a neutral position where the head and neck and the pillow support helps to hold you where your head and neck is level as opposed to being up or down. However, it's okay to choose an up or down position for pain relief, but know that over the months you want to aim or goal for a neutral position so there's equal symmetrical stress on the neck. Likewise, if you can't sleep face up, 
without a cervical support underneath, and you need some degree of flexion by putting the pillow under your head, over time that pillow should be moved down within comfort levels, so eventually you have more flat head to bed position, which is gonna reduce the typical problems of neck flexion associated with cervical disc problems. If you enjoyed this video on cervical degenerative disc disease, herniated discs, and bulging discs, and sleep position, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of great videos out there to help you. Questions or comments, write in as always, I'll do my best to answer. And remember, if you're looking for a great self rehab exercise program to strengthen your neck, to condition it against pain and injury, check out our healing neck exercise program available at painfreeandfit.com. It'll take you step by step in an analysis of your body mechanics and what issues are contributing to your pain and how to fix them and how to develop an exercise program that's customized for you to get you pain-free and fit once again. I hope this video on sleep position with cervical degenerative herniated and bulging discs helps you with your good night's sleep.